A woman who was handcuffed and detained in peaceful protest to protect a heritage church on the southern coast of NSW received $60,000 of compensation from the NSW police. Lock Point's police paid $60,000 to a woman who was incorrectly arrested on NSW Southern Coast. The police paid $60,000 to a woman arrested on the NSW Southern Coast. Joanne Warren was walking on the soil with her dog when she was handcuffed in a police padded wagon. When Joanne Warren was handcuffed and put on a paddy wagon, Redfern Law Center was walking with her dog with her dog. Case is more evidence of need for a parliamentary investigation by NSW police. The payment covers cost of $30,000 and the $30,000 compensation and will be accompanied by a written acceptance that police are incorrect. Joanne Warren is a member of the Huskisson's Huskisson Heritage Society, who has been campaigning for the inheritance list of Huskisson Anglican Church since 2018. Ms. Warren said that in April 2020, a turmoil continued and when she decided to investigate, she passed the well-known site with her dog. We just gently and quietly gathered, and all of them were solved. Deddy he said, I was attacked while trying to protect one of our other community members from being pushed by the police officer, so I was thrown and arrested. Warren, who is currently 61 years old, said he believes that Jeringa Local Aboriginal Land Council belongs to Land Council on the grounds that police officer was standing. Local residents have been campaigning for inheritance list for the historical Huskisson Anglican church and surrounding tomb sites since 2018 we were standing on the permission of Jeringa land and assuming that we didn't follow the instructions to move, said. He threw me down then took me, put me behind me, and took myself and another community member to sit behind a paddy wagon for about 40 minutes until he was released. He continued we did not say what the arrest was for. And then after 45 minutes, he opened the back and said that you were not arrested now. You can go. The lawyer was worried Warren returned to the Redfern Legal Center in Sydney to help in a lawsuit against the police was filed. When Joanne approached by police officer, there was a very small meeting with really small dog. He was very peaceful on a Sunday morning. And unfortunately things climbed when the police arrived. Mrs. Lee said the police left a mark. No violence was carried out by the police officer. He said, he continued later on a paddy wagon and all of this was based on the potential of a small, Unauthorized Entry Offense The arrest of Joanne Warren in Huskisson in April 2020 A statement from NSW Police confirmed Incident But he shed light on current status of relevant police officer. The NSW Police Force made a civil claim with a decision of $60,000, including damages and legal costs for the plaintiff. He continued currently a complaint investigation continues. W-E-R-M-A-L-P